I said, hey, man, you know, isn't that scene fantastic? And he said, what scene? Marvel movie CGI is some of the best, but just how much of it is used to amp up the epic fights? We're checking out 15 of the most impressive battles that see actors pulling off some wild stunts while needing CGI to perfect that image. Number 1. Why fight inside a building when there's perfectly good scaffolding outside? While the actors weren't really battling multiple floors up in the air, the scaffolding area was built for the performers to leap and battle through. Blue surrounding them everywhere was key to filling in this environment. Aside from the setting, pretty much all of what we see is courtesy of pure talent. The training to get into shape for this acrobatic action was long, but so worth it for the full-out performance of this fight. I really do think it's an ever-evolving thing and, and, a, and a company that isn't afraid to lean into spontaneity sometimes. Surely there are more comfortable ways of getting to a lower floor. No mercy was shown in No Way Home as Spider-Man actually went through the floor to pull off this stunt. The stunt coordinating team for this Spider-Man flick is capable of bringing wild moments to the screen, and in this case, they did not hold back. All they needed were some wires, a harness, and fearless performers. When you get given an opportunity like this, you'd be a bit of an idiot if you didn't go for it. No matter where they are, nothing will stop them from duking out a good fight. Accomplishing this whole battle sequence took filming in several parts. All that air action? Cool as it was, it was all performed on land before CGI. Black Widow herself whipped out those moves in full and then let the CG team take over and put all the parts together. I'm really proud of it. We did a, we did a lot of hard work on it. Time to fly through different realities. Get your seatbelts on. This fight could not have happened without CGI. These graphics throw us for just as much of a loop as Tom Holland. Sometimes he had his Spidey suit, and for the more unnerving moments of suit changes, it was mocap all the way. With so many elements in the sequence, some of the really striking visuals were fully digitally constructed shots. The image of Mysterio taking hold of MJ went through a ton of prevision to make sure they could accomplish the haunting moment properly. Zendaya was much safer filming her portion in studio, but she still got a boost from some wires. This is a Spider-Man movie. Like, this is, like, action. Like, it's going down. When they assemble, they do it well. Every portal itself, of course, wasn't present, but those performers were, and when they stormed onto the set, they went full tilt. Sometimes that meant going wild stabbing at a green pad. While a lot of performers were on set at the time, it was never to the full scope of what we see, since they divided everyone up into separate groups to shoot and later put it all together. Pretty much every stage of the CG in this battle looks amazing. These two duked it out only partially suited up in the studio, free to bring that battle to life. While their setting was much less chaotic than what we see on screen, they still included some handy practical tricks like this little moving platform to allow the actors to move easily so these shots could be used with just a bit of CG added for the final movie. They may not be wearing their actual costumes, but honestly, these black suits set up to track their performances really do the trick. And all that practical lighting? Well, it's pretty easy to see the magic just from this. If the studio is going to put everything they can into it, and right. I have to give Marvel credit and Disney credit. Man versus drone, it's never a pretty sight. Tom Holland wasn't only in the studio to film this. He swapped his Spidey suit for a mocap suit too. Luckily, he wasn't really facing drones. Intricate mapping was done to make sure they all moved around and interacted with Holland properly, and did they ever know how to swarm. All the details we see from the explosions to swarming drones to the Tower Bridge and Spider-Man whipping through all the chaos were a beautiful amalgamation of some of the most realistic CG we've ever seen. They were like, cut! Yeah, that was incredible! Um, and it's in the movie. It's actually, I think it's in the movie anyway. Caution, folks. Major action ahead. Everything from the electricity pulsing through him to parts of his suit were CGI rendered. Facing off with anyone coming at him wasn't so intimidating since he was rocking the Thor look while they were kitted out with mocap suits. But that didn't dampen their performances one bit. With the epic proportions of this battle, CGI took care of the most intense details. You know, like giant fiery creatures ripping through the land. It was a, a wonderful experience. <laughs> Number 9. Sure, they both had the 10 rings in the movie, but on the set, one big ring gave Simu Liu the extra boost he needed to defy gravity and smoothly work his magic with those rings. The layers of detail added are endless, with CG done for each of the individual rings and then, of course, embellishing the image with epic lighting and the powerful glow. 
Simu took advantage of a harness at one point as well to really nail this pose. The connection between the rings and the actor's movements is just flawless. I'll help you. I'll develop a whole style based on your abilities. Who's ready to tear up this tarmac? Just because CGI completed these images and made the battle epic as it was, let's not ignore the fact that the action was very real, as the performers ran through the lot next to some very real explosions. While he didn't get to control a full ship, Chris Evans did get a partial build to give him the perfect setting to bring his valiant performance. As for Jeremy Renner, well, he was all bow and no arrow. <laughs> I guess here I am doing it, right? Epic battle time in three, two, one. Considering how intense the fight is, it's no surprise there were multiple shooting days in a few different locations to capture it all. The Marvel team went out into the real world to shoot and found beauty in the natural landscape, only amped up by CG in the final cut. To add to the epic nature, they brought everyone along to film. There was water, explosions, and full-out battles happening while actors were in mocap suits. Like a true fan, because I didn't know that a certain thing was going to happen. <laughs> How this bus survived, we have no idea. While they weren't really racing down a highway, this bus was the real deal, and Simu Liu? Well, he's as real as it gets. All those months hitting the gym and doing all that stretching did him well when filming this feisty fight. Especially that split kick. The Blue Studio went a long way for the CG masterminds that created the busy environment, convincing us that the city got wrecked by all this Shang-Chi power fighting. Just seeing superheroes where there were not superheroes before was such an empowering moment. Actors are important for scenes, but in this case, a giant puppet played a key role. The arena itself is a sight to see, and that was all thanks to CG that included 160,000 audience members. The actor was on his own filming his portion for the most part. The closest he got to actually battling the real Hulk was facing off with a bust of the character set eight and a half feet high and maneuvered by VFX techs. Mark Ruffalo did his mocap performance with a head-mounted camera solo for just his facial expressions to be captured. Anytime these two actually made contact was merely a CGI creation. <laughs> Just finally see it done is pretty pretty cool. Hey team, we're taking to the streets. No blue studios in sight. These actors had nothing but some pads between them and the pavement, if anything. Even the cap shield came out for the occasion. Plenty of time was spent planning out how they'd capture each shot, especially making sure they got the best angles while the performers were hooked up to wires and leveling up their performances like nobody's business. Before they got to actually filming, the rehearsals ran on, making sure every moment was perfect. Number 15. Rocket Raccoon rocked out as a CGI creature while the performers got their parts captured live in studio. They may not really be in space, but every object was carefully mapped out in accordance to how it would move and power through space, giving us a chaotic but freakishly real battle. And then of course, there's this moment. It was less slimy in reality, but hey, it did the trick. These fights definitely wouldn't be as impactful without the incredible VFX used to bring the magic, but behind the scenes is just as fascinating to see. Which scene did you dig the live shoot for? 